Your vehicle's throttle body is responsible for controlling airflow into the engine. Over time, gum, varnish, oil, and carbon will build up on your throttle body's butterfly valve and barrel, which will affect your engine's performance. Common symptoms of a dirty throttle body include reduced fuel economy, a rough idle, hesitation, stalling, a check engine light that's on, or it'll feel like the pedal is sticking a little bit when you first step on it. Gum Out Advanced Throttle Body and Air Intake Cleaner safely removes accumulated deposits from the throttle body to restore vehicle performance and deliver a better driving experience. We recommend you clean or at least inspect your throttle body once a year or about every 12,000 miles. So to get this thing cleaned, here's what you're gonna need. Obviously, a can of Gum Out Advanced Throttle Body and Air Intake Cleaner, a screwdriver or the appropriate tool to remove the intake boot, if you're gonna be doing a deep cleaning, you're gonna want the tools to actually remove the throttle body itself, but we'll get to that in a second. You're gonna want shop rags and a soft bristled brush to agitate the debris, a partner to operate the vehicle if you've got a, an electrical throttle body, safety glasses and gloves. Let's go get those safety glasses and gloves now. All right, now that we've got our safety equipment on, we're ready to start this service. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is locate the throttle body. That can be made easier by finding the air filter, following the air filter duct to the throttle body, which will typically be located right next to the engine. You're gonna to wanna to remove the air filter duct, air filter, mass airflow sensor, anything really to get a good access to that throttle body itself. Now we're ready to remove the air intake boot. We're gonna to wanna to loosen all these clamps. So with all the clamps loose, you can just pull down and move the intake boot out of the way. There you go, you can access the throttle body. This is a good time to determine if your throttle body is cable controlled or an electronic unit. If your throttle bodies have cables running to it like this one does, it's a cable controlled unit and you'll be able to open the butterfly valve just by turning the throttle body linkage. If you see electronic components on the side, you have an electronic unit. Once you've determined your throttle body type, you're gonna to wanna to grab some rags and you're gonna to wanna to put the rags around the throttle body itself so that you catch any runoff as you're cleaning that throttle body. You don't want this powerful solvent going anywhere, but doing what it's supposed to do and cleaning that throttle body itself. And take a look. All right, you're gonna to wanna to take your advanced throttle body cleaner, install your hose, Point that nozzle towards the black dot. Go ahead and give it a good spray. So you're gonna to wanna to spray it in there and then open it up, spray both sides. Come back and spray all the linkages as well. Give the product a little bit of time to soak. So now that you've given the product a little bit of time to soak, go ahead and spray it down again. Open up that linkage, give it a good spray. Spray down all your throttle linkage and take a look. If it's still a little dirty, you can grab that soft bristled toothbrush, come in there. It's like brushing your kid's teeth. Follow up with a rag, come on inside and clean out any remaining debris from both sides of the butterfly valve and the throttle body barrel itself. And just like that, you've got a clean throttle body. All right, so now you can put it all back together and be ready to take it for a test drive. Let's take a look at an electronic throttle body as well. So once all your clamps are loose, you can pull off the air intake boot and see the throttle body. Make sure you know the location of your mass airflow sensor because you do not want to spray any solvent on that sensor. Lucky for us, the sensor is way back here by the air intake box, so we're good to just start cleaning the throttle body itself. Before cleaning, note the location of the electronic components, as you don't want to spray any solvent directly into them. There's the shaft that's running through here. You're not going to want to blast directly into that electronic motor. If your throttle body is extremely dirty like this one, you may need to remove it to thoroughly clean it. We're gonna pull this one off and we can't wait to show you what it's gonna look like before and after. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove any electrical connectors and then you're gonna to wanna to come in and loosen up all these bolts.
So now all the bolts are removed, you can pull away the throttle body. This particular throttle body has coolant lines running through it. You can either clean it on the car by wrapping rags around it and just cleaning it right here in the car, or you can pinch off these coolant lines so that you can bench clean it. We're gonna be cleaning it in the vehicle so we don't have to worry about the antifreeze. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to take a note of is the gasket itself. If you're gonna reuse it, you wanna keep it in really good shape so that you can reuse it. But we do recommend that you get a new throttle body gasket so that way you ensure a really good seal when you go back and reinstall that throttle body. Before you start spraying the unit down, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put rags all around any area that might have solvent flow onto it during your cleaning process. You're also gonna to wanna to note where the electronic components are. And this one, they're on this side. So when I spray it, I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding it up so that nothing runs into the electronics. If you were doing the service on the vehicle, it would be a good idea to put a rag over this so that none of the spray goes onto that electronic component. You wanna take your gum out advanced throttle body and air intake cleaner. Pop that cap off, insert your hose so that you can control the spray, and just go ahead and really spray it down. Again, pay attention not to spray up into the electronics. But with one as dirty as this, you're gonna wanna really spray it on down. Give the product a little bit of time to soak. Sometimes your carbon and varnish are gonna be so bad that you really need to get in there with that soft bristle brush and go ahead and scrub it. Again, be careful that you don't put too much pressure on the butterfly valve itself. You don't want that butterfly valve opening. All right, we've given it a chance to soak. We scrubbed it a little bit with the toothbrush. Let's come in with the rag and just do our first wipe. And we started to get some of that debris out. We got quite a ways to go, but this is gonna make a huge difference. Not gonna be surprised at all if we see fuel economy improve. The butterfly valve should not be opened by hand as this can damage the electronic components. To open the throttle body, turn the key to the on position without starting the vehicle. Then use a pedal depressor or a trusted helper, remember those pinched fingers hurt, to depress and hold down the gas pedal opening that butterfly valve. You ready Brian? Go ahead and turn the key to on, but do not start the engine. Depress the gas pedal. That's perfect, the throttle body's open. All right, close it for a second, Brian. This electronic throttle body was especially dirty. For this one, we removed the throttle body so that we could really access the back Make sure the whole barrel and the butterfly valve was nice and clean, as you can see before and after cleaning. Now we've got the cleaning done. You can see what our rag looks like. That was quite a bit of carbon and varnish and oil that was built up on it. Like we said, you can reuse the gasket. If we were going to reuse this, we'd want to clean this off, make sure it was in good shape. But like we've mentioned before, it's a better idea to get a new gasket. So go ahead and grab your new gasket and then install that into the vehicle. So once you've got the gasket installed, you're gonna to wanna to come back, hand tighten up all your bolts, and then torque them to the manufacturer's specifications in a crosshash pattern so that you make sure that you get a good tight seal against that gasket. Now you can install your air intake and your air filter cover, and you'll be ready to go. This job is done. Depending on how dirty your vehicle's throttle body was, your computer may have been attempting to compensate for the throttle body's loss of performance. Therefore, your vehicle may have a high idle after cleaning. Your computer will adjust back to normal after a few drive cycles, so this is nothing to worry about. Once you're done cleaning your throttle body, we recommend you clean your mass airflow sensor with Gum Out Professional Formula Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner to improve that sensor's performance. And as always, Finish the service off by adding a bottle of gum out to the fuel tank to keep your complete fuel system clean because gum out maintained vehicles run better and last longer.